all you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol at Big Cat Rescue and the volunteers are handing out some cool sickles to the kittens. The cool kittens. Flint is loving his. He thinks it's just something nice to cool off on <laughs> instead of eat. I'm just going to rub all over this. Follow these ladies along. I'll be kind of quiet on this. I don't want to interfere. Do you love it? I love it. Oh, it's a toy. It's not a sickle. That's why you're rubbing on it. Did you get a spice bag? What's in the bag? to Pharaoh, the white serval. Pharaoh says, eh, it's a crowd. I don't think so. Are you being adorable? Can't help it, can you? Just can't help it. I'm too very cute. Flint says, you guys mix this bag just perfect. <laughs> what, whatever it is, he's loving it. I can't, we lost of what we, what we put in there. I think it's probably some sort of catnip. Maybe catnip. Some yeah. Yeah. He has that blissful catnip yeah. eye. <laughs> Thank you. I do. Did Pharaoh come over for his? He's um, sleeping under the ferns. Uh, well, he's awake. He saw it was there, but he didn't come over for it. <laughs> uh, we have a, a sickle for him as well that we'll give him to it in a little bit. This girl. I know you see it. I know you see that. You can get it. Get the bag. Get the bag. 
You're so silly. <laughs> you think if I don't watch you, you won't? If you don't move, I won't see you. Oh, there's Flint. Yeah. It was more interesting to you two to be around the people. And then the reaction. So, um, Nabisco, I'll say maybe three because she came over and said hi to mm -hmm. us. Flint also got a spice bag and I'll do four because she did yeah, three. Yeah. Yeah. Four? I'd give him a ten. <laughs> <laughs> and then Sarah will put a one because he didn't come over, but hopefully oh. he'll play with it later because mm -hmm. he usually really loves them. Um, so, do you want to grab a hold of that for mm -hmm. you? Can you see small? I haven't seen small yet. Yeah. I think she's getting used to her new house. I think so. Do you think she's up further down? Well, she must be because she was right there earlier. She's not looking for her. Yeah. Look for her. <laughs> <laughs> you have a bag there so you can tell she was there. So Small's cage comes all the way back to that den that you see back there and we didn't see her here so she's probably in her giant den. Her biggest den is like 8 feet by 12 feet and covered with dirt and that makes it the coolest spot for her. So Rebecca was saying she'll put the bag in front of her den opening so that she'll at least see it when she gets up. I see her way back there. <laughs> Earlier, I couldn't see her, but she just popped her head up. Well, that's a perfect spot for yeah. her. Yeah. You can see her little okay. ear flashes there. Are you going to go see it? on the move so maybe she's going to come through the den. Okay, 
I was hoping she would go through the den, but I guess not. Of course not. <laughs> of course not. Tabisco <laughs> still hasn't come out from under his platform either. Somebody has sleepy eyes on. Your fun stuff's on the other side. Hey, Paula. Just there. He's like, yeah. <laughs> At least he opened his eyes for it. <laughs> Should get half a point for that. <laughs> He's got this big concrete den behind him and there's an air conditioner running in there. So he could go and lay in the air conditioning if he wanted to, but instead he's laying out here with the air just blowing out the den opening onto him. I can't sleep with you watching me, lady. So if you see that ledge right there, and you can tell there's like an opening that goes into the right, that's where he can go in the air conditioning if he wanted to. It's always available to him. Am I distracting you, Frankie? Oh dear. I'll back up. I think I made him nervous. Well, 
I don't want to interfere. Cats need to have their fun. Oh, there's Pharaoh. Hi. You gonna go get yours now? Are you gonna go get that toy? The awesome overhead tunnel. Yes, I could do that. Um, I'm gonna have to backtrack though because I don't want to keep Frankie from coming over. He seemed concerned about the fact that I was walking up separately from everybody else. <clears throat> he seemed okay with his keepers, but not okay with me. That cat knew how hard I fought for him to be here. <laughs> they don't care. For many years, Moses and Bailey, who are a couple of bobcats, have had these two enclosures. These were originally when people would go on a tour a big cat rescue, they would come out between these two cages here. So they had this tunnel that went between their two enclosures. That brown building is the back of the gift shop. And then that wooden fence was the old tour waiting area before we brought it inside. So Moses and Bailey had a cage that started here it's about 1,200 square feet on this side and 1,200 square feet on the other side. So they had about 2,400 square feet connected by this sky bridge. And that's where they spend so much time. They love it up there. But in all of our changes here at the sanctuary, we added another enclosure that was about 1,800 square feet. And Jamie and Victor just recently built a new sky bridge. Lots of sticks! Man, they have been busy. So it was a long way between that cage and that one. So everything you see all the way over to that white gate, that used to be a leopard enclosure and has been since turned into a bobcat enclosure. And now with this tunnel, Moses and Bailey have all three of those enclosures. So they've got somewhere in the neighborhood of about 4,000 square feet between the two of them. They are little 25 to 30 pound bobcats. I hear crickets. When Jamie and Victor were building this tunnel, what they were going to do was to build just another big section of cage on the ground and then make a short tunnel. But because we have to get out through this gate, this is our back door to the uh, gift shop in the tour waiting area here. So we needed to be able to get people and maybe equipment underneath a small portion, which would be like, I don't know, maybe eight feet would have been fine. But the cats love the tunnel so much that we figured just make the whole thing a tunnel. <laughs> They'll love that more than anything. So they have really enjoyed that, I'm sure, at night. I haven't seen them using it. It's kind of hot during the day because there's not a lot of shade during the middle of the day like right now. Um, it has morning shade and afternoon shade, but right in the middle of the day there's not. This here neighbor shooting guns scares the fool out of me. We had a neighbor shoot one time and the bullet went right through the party house where we work, embedded in the wall of the kitchen. So they're going back to Pharaoh again, this time with a blood sickle.
know if they threw that bag that close to him or if he has pulled the bag over now next to where he is, but that's nice to see. So I'm going to let them continue their work and I'm going to get back to my work. My work is much more boring. Thank you everybody for joining us and for all the sweet comments and hearts and we will see you again soon.